Okay, so today I'm sanding down this uh, rustic table leg, and it goes with a whole table that I'm refinishing. And here's kind of some real time of how long it takes to do portions of the leg. It goes pretty quick. It is extremely dusty and messy. I'm wearing my respirator for this reason. Um, but it does work pretty quick. The only thing that it does, though, it gets rid of all the loose um, splinters and is getting rid of all the kind of soft green, but leaving the harder green, which can give it a little too much of a rustic feel. So when I'm done with the nylon brush, I use a uh, soft pad on a sander to kind of get rid of some more of the edges and round the edges a little bit more. Um, this particular table got pretty beat up and the edges were really splintery. So that's why I did the nylon brush first instead of doing the sanding first, uh, just to save some paper and not destroy my sander. Okay, so now I got the top to this table in my shop and I'm uh, starting with the nylon brush again to um, try to dig out anything loose and get rid of a lot of little chips and all little splinters. The nylon bristles I'm using here are considered like a medium grit. Um, it's not the fine grit and it's not the super rough grit. The orange one you've seen me use is the uh, kind of rougher grit. This one I can be a little more aggressive with and it doesn't damage too much or create too much like weathered look or rustic look. Um, this table had a very rustic finish and basically was left with no finish on top of it. So it just proceeded to keep splintering and basically the people found it unusable because every time they sat at the table to have dinner, they got splinters in their hands and arms. So after going over the whole top with kind of the medium grit, I'm switching to the rougher grit to attack some of these areas that had um, staining and try to dig out some of the darker stains so when I re uh, polyurethane the top um, it doesn't look too dark in certain areas. I know it seems weird to use uh, the heavy grit after kind of the more mild grit, but it helped me see what really needed to be attacked with the heavy grit instead of attacking the whole tabletop with the heavier grit and it getting rid of all the rusticness of this table. Um, if I did this whole tabletop with the orange one first, it probably would have made a lot of it not rustic anymore. Um, and then you would basically be going for a smooth tabletop surface, which is not what these customers want. They want to keep some of the rustic feel to this. So my final step here is to come back with the six inch sander and the soft interface pad uh, and just give it a good once over everywhere. It's not really smoothing anything out. It's just kind of cleaning up some of the rough ridges and softening the green lines. And there you have it, all kind of softened and still rustic, ready for some polyurethane to seal it and hopefully not get that bad again in the future. Okay, so here I am putting on the top coat. Wound up doing four coats of this czar water-based poly um, dries really fast and just gave it a light scuff in between each coat it really built up on top and gave it a more of a like a plasticky feel which is kind of what we needed on this top 
because of how rough it was in the beginning. Okay, I'm gonna let this run with uh, the rest of the first coat, um, just so you can kind of see how the color drastically changes as you're putting it on. Um, as I sanded it, it got very white, which is kind of what you see to the right. That was, you know, not even what it looked like prior to me even starting with just the oils from food and everything else it had a yellow hue to it to begin with it just went away when i sanded it and now putting this on it makes it look wet and we're getting some of that yellow back and i just wanted to remind you that this table did come from a major furniture manufacturer with no finish on it as an option um, it did have the idea to get a finish, but it totally changed the look of the table, which the customer didn't want. Now um, they're kind of being forced into it years later because it's just gotten to an unusable state. I know in the end they aren't the happiest with how yellow it has gotten with the finish on top compared to what it was. However, I think having the table back and in a usable state is actually gonna win them over, over time. So what do you guys think of the color change? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I tried my best with using a water-based product. I tried a couple oil samples and they were much darker um, than this even turned out in the end. And uh, curious to hear what everybody's opinion is. Please let me know in the comments. Thanks. And that's about it. So that's uh, the first coat. I'm not going to bore you through all the coats, but I figured it was kind of interesting watching it change colors. This was it after four coats, with the final two coats being satin. And uh, you can kind of see it still has a little bit of a sheen, but overall is not too bad. And here's one final look at it in the customer's home. And you can kind of see how the coloring changes just from my shop to their house. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.